Hello everyone. I would like to use this PowerPoint presentation about IDT 740 Instructional Design Project Step 3 to give everyone a general introduction to this assignment. The Step 3 assignment is first due in draft form to the assignment portal and shared with your base groups on March 1st. The final version is due March 8th. There are two main components of Step 3, defining four levels of learning objectives and defining three components of lesson sequence. I will provide descriptions and resource links for these two components in this presentation. Let's talk a little bit more about what are the requirements for Step 3. Step 3 builds on the preceding two steps. In Step 3, you will create four levels of learning objectives and a lesson progression sequence for your design project. Step 3 represents the skeletal outline for your overall learning space. The taxonomy of four different levels of learning objectives was developed by Will Thalheimer. In Step 3, you will define your learning objectives on these four levels, which will, go divide, which will guide the development of the sequence for your instructional lesson. This slide represents the definitions of the four learning objectives as developed by Will Fallheimer. The focusing objective represents a statement presented to learners before they encounter the learning materials. It's provided to help the learner get their attention to the most important aspect of the learning material. The performance objective is a statement presented to learners before they encounter the learning material also but it's provided to help learners get a quick understanding of the competencies they will be expected to learn. The instructional design objective is a statement developed by and for instructional designers to guide the design and development of learning and instruction. The instructional evaluation objective is a statement developed by and for program evaluators or instructional designers to guide the evaluation of instruction. Here are the four levels of learning objectives presented in a kind of metaphor that helps, hopefully helps you think about what these learning objectives mean. I'm using the analogy of designing a house. And so the focusing objective might be an advanced advertisement about the house. A performance objective might be something like a printout of the specs about the house related to um, competencies that would be available through this house. For example, what capabilities does the house have? Does it have uh, handicap access? Um, what kind of wiring does it have? Um, does it have built-in internet? The third level related to instructional design objective is my, an analogy might be an, an architectural drawing of the house. So this could be something that you would give to the builders. And an analogy is when you write this, you're essentially giving this instructional design learning objective to people who will build the product. The instructional evaluation objective might be analogous to a real estate appraisal of the house. And this is more on an evaluative term. Well, the next component of step three is using what we've been reading about in Make It Stick. And in this component of step three, you're asked to provide three components 
of active learning. The first one, what active learning methods will you use to enhance retrieval, elaboration, reflection, and generative learning? How will you create desirable difficulties where learners struggle with material, make some mistakes, and even fail, ultimately receiving corrective and constructive feedback from the instruction? And thirdly, how will you provide constructive feedback to strengthen learning and create an open and challenging learning environment? Well, here's where on eCampus in the Week 8 folder where you can find the rubric for Step 3. Um, you will also find that uh, the PowerPoint that you're looking at right now will be provided in this folder, as well as the assignment portal to post your draft and final version of Step 3. I thought you might enjoy listening to a radio interview with the lead author of Make It Stick. And uh, here's a little bit about the interview. This is a podcast. It was uh, part of American Radio Works, recorded by WQED in Boston. And a little summary of what's in the interview and who does the interview. Um, the podcast was originally released on October 2014, very close to when the book was published. So if you follow the link at the bottom, you can listen to the interview. It's 12 minutes long. I listened to it. It was very easy to listen to. I listened to it while I ate my lunch. Um, so it's, it's something you can relax and listen to and, uh, and be a nice reinforcement for the book. Here are two additional resources. Um, if you want to read a little bit more about these uh, taxonomy of learning objectives, the four levels that we're using, here's a link to the author's website. Also, here's a link to a, a very nice blog that someone other than the authors has put together related to Make It Stick. And uh, I, I think you'll be, enjoy being able to access this as we continue to read through this book. The final slide is just yay spring. A picture of one of the crocus blooming in my yard, and I'm just so happy to see it. So thank you very much. <laughs>